Hi, YJ here. Today we're going to talk about rate, understanding rates of reaction. A rate of reaction is a measure of how fast a reaction goes or happens. Ready, steady, go. Let's get into this topic. So you basically, a reaction occurs and whilst it's occurring, you are measuring its rate of reaction against time, how fast it goes against time. You're basically timing to see how much of a product is produced or alternatively you'll be measuring how much of the reactants are used up. Now reactions can go at various rates. They can go very fast like a sprinter, zoom, or they can go very slowly like a snail so that you're almost falling off your chair with boredom. How do you calculate the rate of reaction? Now that's the key. To measure the rate of reaction, you have to look at the amount of reactant that is used up or the amount of product that's formed and you divide that by time. Also, you can use that information to plot a chart that shows the rate of reaction. And from that graph or chart, you will be able to find out lots of different information about rates of reaction, which are very key. So, there are three types of reactions that you need to know for your GCSE. And these reactions are important to have seen and to understand what you expect to occur. The first one is precipitation. And in this type of reaction, you're just basically measuring to see how the, react, how the reactants react and how cloudy the reactions get. In the second one, you're measuring the giving off of gas by measuring the changing mass of the reactants. In the third one, you're measuring the volume of gas that is produced or given off. These are the three main types. I hope you enjoyed this little walk through rates of reaction. I hope it's cleared up some things for you. That's all, folks, for today at least. Look out for the three reactions. I'll post their links um, below this, and I hope they help you memorize all you need to know about rates.